Well, we all know Shirley Franklin as a mayor, but you know, she has done so many things, working with high school students to get them internships while she was mayor, and she's still doing that, raising their, uh, uh, their, their expectations for themselves. She's going full steam ahead. And that's what she does. She figures out how to get the tough stuff done. She reaches across every aisle, she understands that every person has value, no matter what your religion, your race, your education level, that's who Shirley Franklin is. The way I would describe her is she's wise, she has wit, and she works hard. And through all of that, she has developed deep friendships and created influence on generations of leaders, past, present, and future, who look to her for that wise, sage advice. Shirley's commitment to building community is true and real, and it is guided by the fact that she, her deep, deep commitment and belief that each person in the city of Atlanta deserves to be a strong, participating, partner in what happens in their life and in the life of the community, and that the table that's set for the decision making should be big enough to have seats for everyone at it. She has always been engaged in, in, in gathering people around her, listening to people, understanding the positions of other people and the what was causing them pain and causing them joy in their lives. That's what leadership is about. It's about setting that big table and living the big table. She's brilliant. Uh, she's brave. Uh, she's compassionate about what she does. She's a true uh, servant leader that always is looking out for those who are not fully represented. Uh, but at the same time, she has a great appreciation and respect for those who have gone ahead but she always calls them back to invest. Shirley always wants to make sure that people of faith are engaged in all the programs that uh, she has uh, implemented, but also the programs that she's just might be on the peripheral of. She, she knows that people of faith uh, are obligated to look into the distance and to have vision uh, and to have these hopes and aspirations that can be fulfilled or, or spurred on by this uh, belief that there's a master plan and, there, and that all of us have an obligation to be involved in the, in the best, of, uh, to seek good wherever we find it. And Shirley's always drawn bigger and bigger circles and at times has been the force that makes those circles uh, contract a little bit when there's too much room between the individuals within the circle so that we become friends and associates. And Mayor Franklin understands the totality of when you have a vibrant cultural community, that you have a vibrant, thriving economic generator for that thriving community. You have a vibrant quality of life for people who live in that community. Mayor Franklin really understands the village and she understands that if it, any one of us in the village is hurting or is in need, then the village is broken. She really understands um, what it means to be your brother's keeper or your sister's keeper. And so she really has led her life, both as mayor and you know, as a human being, committed to you know, being, the voiceless for the, being the voice for the voiceless, it wasn't only about bringing corporate leaders together or bringing civic leaders together or nonprofit leaders, but our faith leaders of all faith backgrounds were equally as the table, understanding that uh, they play a significant role in how we shift the narrative in what's happening in our communities and how we collaboratively impact community. I think that probably what she's done outside of her role as mayor has had as much impact on Atlanta as what she did as a mayor, and I think she continues to do that, speaking out for issues that are important to her and making sure that they're part of the national conversation. Um, I also think that one of the things that she's done, she's very, um, her role on corporate boards like Delta and other uh, philanthropic organizations across the city as well as the country 
have helped raise issues around corporate responsibility, ethical leadership, but I also recognize that part of her leadership style was also, you know, the great quote, it doesn't matter who gets the credit as long as it gets done. And I think one of the things that I know, you know, when I've heard her say a million times is, if it's the right thing to do, we need to do it. Her voice has always been at the table for a lot of reasons, but mostly because she is able to speak with passion about issues of equity and community redevelopment and making sure that um, historically underserved communities are represented and that there is, um, and that the standpoint is, is if we address those issues, we all benefit from addressing issues. Shirley, you know how much I love you, darling, and this is a wonderful honor that is well-deserved for you. Thank you to the Islamic Speakers Bureau for reaching out and recognizing you. I would really like to congratulate my friend, Shirley Franklin, quintessential public servant and community leader on her award this evening. I'm so honored to have been part of this tribute to you, Mayor Shirley Franklin. Thank you so much for all you have done for the city of Atlanta and all of the um, friendship, support, and advice you've meant to me and my family and particularly the Cousins, Extended Cousins Foundation work. And I wanna thank you, Shirley. I wanna thank you for accepting our recognition and may God continue to bless you, continue to inspire you and continue to, to reward you for all of the great good that you have done and how you have touched the hearts of everybody that comes into this city as well as how you have touched my heart. Congratulations to ISB and thank you, Shirley, for accepting to be our awardee. Mayor Franklin, congratulations on your honor. You truly are not only my Shiro, but the Shiro for so many. And Every honor that you get is deserving, but I'm so glad that tonight we get to celebrate you in terms of the role that you continue to play in bringing all people together.